In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you another glow effect that I call the neon triangle glow effect. Now, the great thing about this glow effect is that you can turn it into any shape. So in this specific tutorial, we're gonna create a triangle. But of course, if you want to create any other shape or form, then feel free to do so. Let's jump straight into Affinity Photo and let me show you how to create this amazing fun effect. Let's go. All right, now here we are in Affinity Photo and I found this amazing portrait photo of this woman on unsplash.com. And yeah, here I want to apply some nice glow line too. So we're gonna start off by drawing our glow line with the pen tool and we're actually gonna create a triangular shape. So I'm gonna just click right over here, maybe here, click right here and click somewhere around here. Now, if I want to move my points around, uh, what you could do is press P again to grab your node tool. But what you can also do with the pen tool selected is hold command or control. And now you temporarily uh, turn it into the node tool. And now you can make your changes. So I'm going to position it something like, something like this looks pretty okay to me. And the great thing is I can always change this thing later. All right, now you can see that I've already got a stroke applied, but usually you don't see it. So first you click here and then you apply your stroke. Um, you decide how thick you want it to be. So I think I will try 26 pixels and I want the stroke to be white. There we go. And you can also change some of the uh, properties. So now you can see I've got this point. You can also make it more round if you like this. Um, yeah, just play around with these properties a little bit. But I think I like it more, um, yeah, triangular, let's say. So something like this. Maybe this looks also fine, but I'll go for the pointy triangle in this case. All right, now. To turn this thing into some nice neon glow, of course we want to add some glow. So let's go to our effects panel and let's first add some inner glow. Now the inner glow is gonna be the color of our glow. So um, yeah, let's say we want to give this in contrast with the red hair, maybe some nice green color. Let's increase the radius a bit. And now you can see that nothing is actually happening and that is because we've got a white triangle and the blend mode is set to screen. So you want to change the blend mode to something else. In this case, we're going to go for multiply and now you can play with the uh, intensity and um, with the radius. Something like this looks pretty good to me. And make sure you have this set to edge because if you set it to center, then it goes, it does the opposite thing. So that's step number one. Step number two is to create an outer glow. Now here you have the layer effects panel where you can create an outer glow if you wanted to. Um, but you see that there's some weird problem with this outer glow and that is um, it doesn't really take into account these pointy edges, let's say. So you can see that it kind of rounds off the edges. And this is something I don't really like. So I'm going to use a different technique to uh, create this outer glow. So let's zoom out. And first, before we're going to create the glow, of course, this triangle should be behind the woman. Parts of it should be behind the woman. So we're going to create a layer mask. Make sure she's to select the layer mask and press B on the keyboard to select your brush tool. You want to set your uh, color to black and white. So I press D on the keyboard and grab a soft round bl brush and make sure that your color is set to black and now you can hide parts of this triangle. Now we're gonna increase the hardness a little bit because yeah, we've got some hard edges to work with and I'm gonna zoom in a bit and yeah, just brush out the triangle. Something like this, this we're not gonna need and right here I want to make a nice mask just like so. Now we can play even more with it if we want to because it is going behind her but we can also make it look like it is actually going in between her arms let's say. So we can also hide this part if we like to. Yeah it makes it a little more dynamic let's say. All right next thing add our glow. So we've got this nice green color that we want to use. What I'm gonna do now is duplicate this curve layer. So I'm gonna select it and press command J. And I'm going to select the bottom one. So this is, let's say, the base. And the bottom one is going to be our glow one. So I'm going to rasterize this thing. 
and it's gonna ask me if I want to preserve the layer effects, but I don't really need it, but let's just go for it. What I want to do now is select a color overlay and I want to pick this color or a similar color to this one. So I'm gonna go to my color overlay and try to set it to something bright green. Something like this should do the job. And that is fine to me. Now you cannot really see it and that is because it's below our base layer. But if I would hide this one, you can see that we've got this, um, yeah, this layer underneath it. And now we're gonna add a Gaussian blur to make it look like a glow. So we're gonna go into our layer effects, select Gaussian blur and increase the radius just a bit. And now you can see that we've get, we get this nicer glow. And honestly, this looks a lot better than the outer glow, what we've just seen. So I'm gonna go for a radius of, let's say 14 pixels. I'm gonna duplicate our glow one layer and I'm gonna rename the bottom one glow two. Go back into the layer effects and increase the, uh, the radius once again. And I'm gonna do that once more. So I'm gonna press Command J once again, go into our glow uh, number three and increase the radius once again. Now, I think it's gonna look very nice if this bar is actually just a little bit blurred because now it is super sharp. Um, so what I want to do now is select my bar or the base, let's say I'm gonna go into this layer effects and I'm just gonna apply a very slight blur to it. So that it is not perfectly sharp, let's say, but just slightly blurred. So about one pixel should do the job. So this is before. Let's zoom in a bit. This is before and this is after. And it just gives this nice, yeah, nice glow, let's say. All right, now we've got this um, base glow, let's say. We've got this local glow, so the glow of these, um, these three glows. So I'm gonna group them together and call this one local glow. And now we want to create a new glow and that is going to be the overall glow. And that is going to be the glow that is actually cast, um, being cast on our subject. So I'm going to create a new fill layer. Go to layer, click on new fill layer and get some nice bright green color. Something like this. And I want to apply a black layer mask to it. So I'm going to hold alt or option and click the mask icon. And now with my mask selected and with the brush tool. So press B on the keyboard to select your brush tool. You want to make sure that you have your color set to black and white because we're masking. So I'm gonna press D on the keyboard and reduce my hardness. And now you can see that I can paint back the effect of our fill layer. So we can rename this fill layer um, overall glow. I'm gonna zoom in. And yeah, now I can just basically paint in some new glows. So I'm gonna reduce the opacity a whole lot and the, uh, I'm sorry, the flow and the opacity. And let's select our mask layer and now we can just brush in some nice extra glow. So this is, let's say, some extra glow to our bar, what I'm doing right now. And now I also want to add some glow to our subject. because obviously our subject is being lit by our glow. And the great thing is because we're working with a mask, if we brush too much, you can get black as a foreground color and you can get rid of what you've brushed too much. Now, I think it's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna press B, uh, X on the keyboard and just brush it out slightly to make it look more subtle. Of course, this arm or this part of our arm is also gonna be very green. Now. What we still can do, um, which is pretty cool, we can add uh, a blend ranges. So I'm gonna select my overall glow, go into my blend ranges and make sure that um, the green colors that I'm painting right now are out of the shadows, let's say. So everything that's super shadowy, there's no, there's not gonna be too much green. So it just makes this look a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, on the skin, let's say. So let's continue, of course, um, her clothes are gonna have some green stuff on it as well. So these wrinkles are gonna be pretty green. And yeah, and of course, the more time you spend on this, the nicer it's gonna look. And because we have our blend ranges activated, um, yeah, we don't really paint on the shadows, let's say. So this is something very nice right now. 
there we go so let's do the same for this part of her sweater it's gonna be very bright of course here too on her chest now this arm is gonna be super bright here it's gonna be very bright as well and her hands of course like so of course we can add some more lighting here but we're gonna do that in just a bit because we're gonna create a new layer for that so let's continue what we were working on um, yeah her dreadlocks of course need some uh, need some green as well and actually we're gonna do that with another layer as well so let's see the before this is the before and this is the after and whew, I think that looks very very nice already all right now I want to add some more green to this part of her face and also to her hair but I'm gonna use another uh, glow layer for this I'm gonna create another fill layer so I'm just gonna duplicate this overall um, fill layer let's say whoops and now I duplicated the mask so make sure to select the overall glow and then press command J and now I want to make my mask black so I'm gonna use my keyboard shortcut which is um, yeah fill with secondary color you can also do it um, this by the way is a custom keyboard shortcut you can also do it by edit um, sorry go to edit and then fill with secondary color and then make sure that your secondary color is actually black so now you can see that my mask is nice and black and yeah I want to reset my blend ranges and now we're gonna paint in some nice highlights on her hair and her mask let's say so we're gonna do the same thing and actually let's go for crazy now this looks very weird but of course we can brush it out once again so okay now you see that i brushed in too much um, so i'm gonna grab a hard round brush or a harder brush and gonna br brush back in with black and now I'm just going to clean up the edges. Okay, that looks pretty interesting. Maybe we can change the blend ranges to make it look nicer. There we go. So this is mask glow. We're going to create another um, glow layer. So I'm going to press command J once again. Make sure to reset my blend ranges and fill my mask with black once again. And now I'm going to add a little bit to her hair right here. So this was very nitty piggy, but it just gives this nicer effect. Let's do some extra on these hairs like this. Now I want to add a bit more glow to the overall uh, triangle because I think it needs more glow because who doesn't like glow. So I'm going to create a new fill layer, fill it with green as usual, invert the mask. And this time I want to set the blend mode to add and brush back in very subtly the effect. So make sure to select the mask and just brush in some nice glow. All right, now to make this thing look even cooler, we can add some clouds and some fog. So I've got a fog brush for this. So let's go to the I am Renzi uh, cloud brushes and these are available. So if you're interested in any of the brushes that I'm going to use, um, yeah, just check out the link or the video description. So I'm going to use my cloud painter brush for this. So we're going to create a new layer. Whoops, I'm going to put it at the top or actually at the bottom and just add some nice some nice fog around her that looks pretty good and if we want we can change the color of the fog by adding a color overlay and yeah set it to the bright green or some bright green something like this all right now there's one more thing so this is going to be fog one more thing that works so so well with glow and that is particles so i'm going to create a particle uh, layer so i'm going to create a new pixel layer i'm going to rename this one particles i'm going to set the color overlay once again to some very nice bright green like so close it i'm going to go into my particle brushes so the i'm renzi particle brushes and select any one of them um, yeah this one looks pretty cool so let's add some small particles and bigger particles 
and we're just gonna click a couple of times and increase and decrease the brush size we're gonna maybe use some other particles this looks interesting to have some bigger particles there we go now we're gonna create an inverted layer mask so i'm gonna hold alt and select the mask icon or click the mask icon i'm gonna grab my soft round brush once again and now with a very low flow of let's say two percent i'm just gonna brush back in some nice particles to give this image a nice finishing touch